I'm going to show you how I replaced my turn signal switch. It just wouldn't stay clicked when I pressed it down for a left turn. Here's how the part behaved when I tried to click it down. It bounced right back up. So I got the replacement part and grabbed a collapsible Torx set, specifically for the Torx T30 bit, a regular size Torx T10, a flathead screwdriver, and a breaker bar with a 10 millimeter hex socket. Start by extending the steering wheel out for more room to work and ensure the wheel position is completely straight. Next, disconnect the negative terminal on your battery. Since we're going to be removing the airbag, we need to disconnect the battery. To remove the airbag, it's held on by two Torx T30 screws on both sides of the steering wheel. Click the turn signal up on the driver's side so you have room to remove the screw. Make sure you put it back into the middle position as soon as you remove the screw. When there isn't enough room to turn the screw, take the Torx off and use it without the handle or get a smaller Torx. Guide the airbag out. You'll see three connections on the back. You can start by unplugging the top connection, which just slides right out. Don't pull by the cable. To remove the green and yellow connections, you must take out the retaining clips in the middle. I pull them out by my fingers, or you can use a flathead screwdriver, but be careful not to break them. Some cars have orange clips that may come out similarly. Next, use a 10 millimeter hex bit with a breaker bar. This bolt is on very tight and requires some force for removal. Hold the wheel so it doesn't take on too much pressure and brake. It's really important not to use the wheel lock for resistance while unscrewing. You can easily pull the wheel out by guiding the connections out of the opening. You'll then see the clock spring which must stay in position and lines up with the center of the wheel with these arrows, as long as your wheels are straight. Don't turn this piece in any direction. You should also lock it in place with the red clip that you get with the replacement turn signal. To remove, unscrew three Torx T10 screws. I used a flat head to separate this piece from the steering angle sensor. Go in a circular motion behind this plate Use pressure, but be gentle. You don't want to break the plastic or electrical connection pins. Set this aside face down. Here you can see the clips that attach to the steering column. Don't forget to lock it in place so it doesn't move or twist. Remove the plastic clips surrounding the various switches. There aren't any screws to remove the steering angle sensor seen here. Just pull back. Here is a view of all the switches and toggles. You can remove the top one first, which is my cruise control. Using a T30, unscrew the combination signal switch. And since I have an electronic steering wheel position, I unscrewed a Torx T10 to remove the bottom toggle. Next, wiggle the entire column out. There are three Torx T10s holding in the combination turn signal switch. Unscrew them and pull the switch out of the housing. My car was built prior to September 2003, so I have to use this guide to cut out some plastic. 25 millimeters in and at a 30 degree angle. I just used a blade, then I etched the plastic out. They did this because the new switch design has shorter electrical cables as well as a shorter metal housing bracket. The old one on the left and the new one is on the right. Remember to gently guide the new switch into the mounting slots when putting back together, be gentle with all the plastic components. They can be fragile. And ensure the cable is safely positioned so it doesn't get cut or damaged. If this video helped you, please click the like button and share it so it can be seen by those who need it.